Hello, my name is Anujan, this is Gauzi, this is Vivek, and we're from Oaks Park High School, and we're going to find out all about Pathfinder and Triple. Well, what are we solving here? Basically, how many Pathfinder Triples there are, and what the primitive Pathfinder Triples there are. Also, we're, we're, explaining, we're explaining why there are infinite amount of Pathfinder Triples. So, what is Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem is to work out the third length of a right angle triangle only works with a right angle triangle. The formula for this theorem is a squared plus b squared plus c squared. The c is always a hypotenuse. What is a primitive Pythagoras triple? A primitive Pythagoras triple is when a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and all the factors are well, none of the fact and there's no factors in the equation in the problem, and they're always whole numbers. Positive, positive whole numbers. Well, is it possible to find all, all of the primitive Pythagorean triples? Primitive Pythagorean triples can be worked out by using this formula. Okay. N will be always constant, meaning that N will be the same number throughout the whole equation. An example will be given on the next slide. So we have chosen to do n is equal to 1. So therefore, a will be 2 times 1, 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 3. b would be 2n, would be 2 times 1, bracket 1 plus 1, which would be 2 plus 2, which is 4. So b equals 4. And c would be c equals 2 times 1, open bracket, 1 plus 1, close bracket plus 1, which would equal to 5. So therefore, our three numbers are 3, 4, and 5. This is a primitive Pythagorean triple. And also, as you can see over here, 3 is the smallest number, which is odd. So this proves our um, theory that we explained before. Next. Pythagorean triples, they're endless, they're, they're endless because they're infinity. Why are they infinity? Infinite amount. Because they are infinite amount of um, integers, positive integers, because, uh, so therefore any integer, positive integer could go into the formula. This, this leads to um, there being infinite amount of Pythagorean triples. Thank you for watching. This is the example of a Pythagorean triples. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this informative.